Everyone, I'm Kim with Abundant Life Tarot. Thank you for joining me for another Mystery Mystic Musings. We are now exploring the disappearance of Felicia Marie Johnson. She is 24 years old. She had recently um, traveled from California to Houston, Texas to look for work. And she looked for work at a place called Cover Girls Nightclub. And on April 15th, which was the last day that, you know, anyone has really seen or heard from her, she was leaving that establishment and she, or, you know, hired or ordered a Uber and the Uber vehicle was running late. So a gentleman at this club offered to give her a ride. And that is the last that anyone's really known or heard about her, that she took this ride and from there, it's like she's vanished. So now as of April 22nd, 2022, her bloodied cell phone has been found, but still no trace of her, no cell phone activity, no bank activity. As so her family is really, really worried. And of course, with these cases, time is of the essence to find her. Um, I'm going to link an article in the description box so you can read up a little bit more about you know, something interesting that I found in the particular article I'm going to link is that this is like the fifth disappearance involving young black women coming up missing, um, you know, so and, and particularly women who might work for nightclubs or work for gentlemen's clubs. And it, it's alarming. And she's a beautiful young woman. And I, it is my prayer, my hope that she is found safe and that, you know, she gets um, any help, medical attention that she may need, you know, especially with the whole bit that a bloodied phone was found. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the Mildred Payne Secret Pocket Oracle reading to get a, a feel of what's going on energetically. You know, we're not making any accusations. We don't know if the gentleman who picked her up maybe dropped her off somewhere else and she encountered some other person or if something happened between her and this gentleman they haven't been able to find this gentleman and um so yeah we're gonna take a look and see what comes up at least for me intuitively at the cards all right let's get to it All right, so Spirit, we are coming to you for your divine insights, your divine grace, your divine prophecy, and most of all, your divine protection. As we delve into the energy surrounding Felicia, what may have happened to her, you know, where is she at? Thank you, Spirit. What's going on? We've got Rat. What's going on with her? We got umbrella. I'm staring also at my laptop with her on her picture on there. So I'm just gazing and seeing what what I pick up with as I sit with Felicia, my love. Let us know your family is beside themselves with worry, okay? Alright, let's see what's coming up. Let's see what spirit is willing to reveal to us all right because spirit will only reveal what we are prepared to receive so we've got rat rat is the first card that jumped umbrella shield and pitchfork okay so the rat card and i'm going to zoom in here okay I'm going to zoom in so we can get a really good 
tight look at the cards on what we're dealing with here. Let me just zoom in, scoot you over. All right, so let's get to it, all right? Let's talk about it. So we've got the rat card. The rat card's key meaning is a traitor or untrustworthy person. The card, the rat card is also associated with the key word of disease, um, something that is harmful to the body, something that will try to consume someone who turned on her, a traitor, someone that maybe she thought she could trust. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up on here is that she encountered someone that she thought she could trust, but they have a traitor like energy, a, like someone who turn on her with this rat card and, and perhaps there could have even been signs that they were not to be trustworthy anyway but those signs were ignored i say that because of the umbrella card okay so the umbrella card is about um a protection right we also see that with the shield like Maybe she wasn't listening to her intuition. Maybe she was picking up on that this might be a bad omen uh, to deal with this particular person, this traitor, someone who turned who turned on her. You know, I'm curious to know if this person turned on her. You know, was I'm curious to know if the person who turned on her is the one who gave her a ride, or if it's someone else she encountered. Um, in the, it, it's interesting to me that the rat card is sitting next to the umbrella card. The key words for the umbrella um, for this deck is protection from something beyond control. All right. A sanctuary, but it also can indicate a bad omen. So this also could just simply speak to the fact that she was waiting for her uber driver the uber driver didn't come through so what was perceived to be a sanctuary a way to get back to where she needed to go back to her room back to her home she decided to lean in and and go with it and trust this person but maybe that wasn't necessarily what her instincts were telling her um, protection comes up again with the shield card. Okay, so the shield card next to the umbrella card is is interesting to me. Like, it is also about isolation. All right, a defensive barrier, having to put up a defensive barrier against something or someone who was turning on her isolation this person took her away to an isolated place okay she moved to an isolated place away from protection out in the open but isolated okay that's what i'm picking up on here with that shield card she needed to be shielded from whatever this you know traitor was having in store for her and it's unclear to me or unknown to me if she knew this person or if this is just someone she encountered and she didn't listen to her better judgment about this person, okay, with this rat card. The pitchfork card, it is about conflict. It is about um, someone using some sort of weapon, someone uh, becoming violent, Someone, when when if she was trying to get out of this situation, they rose up on her and threatened her with violence or caused violence to her. Okay, so I'm going to now pull from this little new deck that I have. This is the Murder Mystery Oracle Cards by Melanie France. And we're just going to pull one to three cards to ask Spirit, what are some insights that are important to this case, important to Felicia's disappearance? Strange phenomenon involved. Killer profile indicates a narcissist or sociopath. This could be someone who's done this before, 
who preys on young women, who is opportunistic, and all about self, a rat. Let's see if we can get one more card, one more card to get more clarity surrounding who this person is that she encountered or what, what we're dealing with here. So I guess we'll get two cards. Okay. So it says killer may currently be in prison for another crime or this person may have done similar crimes in the past, maybe even had done time for similar crimes in the past. So this is someone who is, a, what is it, um, a career criminal and not just someone who is a career criminal like petty thefts. I mean, that could be it or petty crimes. This is someone who is kind of sadistic, strange phenomenon involved, strange phenomenon. Now, sometimes this could speak to something, you know, metaphysical happening, magical. But this is also just could simply be that she was at the right place, wrong time, wrong place, wrong time, that type of um, phenomenon happening. Like he happens to just be there. She's there. It's this opportunity for him. He could not resist. Um, and also this could be about she rebelled against him. She turned away his advances and he just lost it with this pitchfork. And he's done this before. I would imagine that it says killer may currently be in prison for another crime. Maybe he went to jail since then, you know, since what happened for something else. Or this just simply could mean that he's done something similar before. He has a pattern. He will do this again. He, you know, he could very well go to prison again for something like this, where if someone turns down his advances or puts up a struggle, he just loses it. He's all about self. When he feels like someone turns on him, he is he does not take rejection well. And then finally, it says forensic science will provide important clues. Forensic science will provide important clues. Forensic science could be, um, you know, fingerprints on the cell phone. OK, um, it could be. If they find her, there's some forensic evidence on her person. If they find other, you know, pieces of her clothing or other items that belong to her in the discovery of, um, you know, what may have happened, what this is telling me is that <sighs> the forensics will be what is critical to cracking the case and finding them because I sense that this person has a record um, that, you know, he he thought he was careful. He's done this before, but he's in a he's in the system somehow, some way. And forensics is going to be what cracks the case in helping the authorities to either find her or find out what exactly happened or who caused this. All right. So now I'm going to take pictures of these two spreads and we're going to move on to the next portion of the reading. All right, so now we're going to ask just a few questions here. And the first question we have is, Sarah, what happened to Felicia? What happened to her? Because we, we see that she's encountered someone. And I'm just wondering what is going on. Cell phone, serial, oh gosh. Okay. when it's time to stop computer okay some computer data some I was hoping to get some more in information about what may have happened to her sometimes spirit wants to spare us those details 
um, but I, I'm concerned with what may have happened. The pitchfork does indicate that some sort of harm could could have come to her at the hands of that traitor, that rat, right? Um, this is somebody that I mentioned before that has a propensity to do this and to do this again, who may have done it in the past, who's comfortable with this. He wears a false mask. He look he could be like he looks like he's got money, like he's moneyed up. He's looked successful. That it it face value, it looked like it was trustworthy for her, right? He may have even, you know, started up, struck up small talk with her. And, you know, as she's waiting for this Uber vehicle, Uber driver to come and they never come. He's, you know, smooth talking her, put getting his, um, showing him her, his phone, for example, and, and they exchanging contact information and him even maybe offering money to her, you know, some element of money is tied to it. But I also sense that he was flashy. This individual is flashy. Um, cell phone is going to be critical cell phone. It's great that they did find it, but it's also very alarming. It's alarming for a number of reasons. It's alarming because it had blood on it. It was bloodied, according to the article I read. And that's very, very concerning. The other thing is, is that the cell phone could hold critical information. She may have put this person's contact information in the phone. This person also could have, um, you know, maybe even following her on social media. Oh, like, even though this person knows that she's missing, they're, they're obsessing over her with this computer card. There's some sort of computer records. There's some sort of footprints, digital footprints that this person has left um, that will be found or discovered in either this person's cell phone or her cell phone. Okay, but this is not good because the serial killer is, is speaking to this person has done this. This is someone who is what? A sociopath, a rat, a traitor, um, someone who cannot be trusted, um, a narcissist. It says here a sociopath. I sense that this person has done this again or has the propensity to do this over and over again. I'll see if there's anything that comes up with the tarot. And then we'll move on to the next question. Sometimes spirit will spare us like the details or at least spare me, <laughs> you know, and spare those who are watching the video, like all the gory details. Sometimes it's just not necessary, but she is in grave danger. Okay. Six of swords, ace of pentacles, anything else. If not, we'll shuffle from this little deck here. So this is the Dark Mirror Oracle. Six of Swords is about a transition, a movement, um, going from one place to another, the Six of Swords. So I'm promising you. So I'm sensing that the person who likely is the traitor, the rat, is the person who's transporting her, who offered to transport her, maybe even offer gifts of money, um, just lured her in a way that you, you know, young people, especially when they're trying to set out to make money and start their life, um, oh, colorless angel, when they set out to start their life, um, and, and someone's offering them a ride or, you know, money or gifts, they will likely accept them. Why? Because they're starting out with this Ace of Pentacles. They're starting a new life. They don't have all the things that they feel they need. So this is just a means to help them to get from one place to another. But meanwhile, this is someone, this colorless angel is someone who is just not, is someone who does not care about humanity, about the next man, they are only concerned with self and what they need and what they can get. And they have a, a ego, like this person has a big ego, has a, it just, I'm feeling very egomaniac to me. Okay. Six of Swords is also about a transition, moving from one state of being to another. 
Um, it's one of the cards that signifies a movement, a transition, a going, for, you know, a, trans, a sense of transformation. Um, and literally moving, if you look closely here. And so this person could have caused her to meet a, an untimely transition, or this simply could just mean that this person that she encountered, this rat, was someone who made promises to move her from the place of the club to her home, to her home, Ace of Pentacles. But he, this person did not do that. This person actually did quite the opposite, took her to somewhere of isolation. And we're going to look at See if we can get any clues about who this person might be or anything else that we can glean about that. One moment. Nothing else is coming up. Thank you, Spirit. All right, next question I have is who or what is responsible for Felicia's disappearance? We already know that it's someone, it's a person with a serial killer card and we're getting that to me it's coming through clearly that this is at the this is significant clues of foul play oops about to spill on my cards now i want to ask spirit who or what is responsible for her disappearance we're going to first shuffle with this deck and then i'm going to pull from another one a lawyer medium hair color something about their hair Something about their hair doesn't always when this card comes up it doesn't always mean that this is some you know someone with medium hair it could just mean um, you know something do they have long hair do they have braids do they have dreadlocks do they have um, you know colored tips there's something about this person's hair okay this is another person We'll see if we can get any other clues. A lawyer. Someone's really good at talking. He's got talks to talk. I mean, he probably could even have portrayed himself as some sort of representative or a lawyer of some sort. Brown eyes. I'm, I'm sensing perhaps African-American with this card. Brown eyes. People have probably seen this man before. He's probably been in the establishment. Um, let me reshuffle. He's probably been in the establishment on occasions, okay? Occasions and occasions, or been around that area. Signs, signs. People, you know, have seen him. And this could speak to, maybe he's even on like a sign or a billboard. Like he could be a big deal or associated with someone who's a big deal. He may even be someone who has a lawyer and he's he's used to getting off on you know cases but this is someone who is a big he in his mind he's a big deal <laughs> I'll say that it says heart shaped face something about his face shape um, not that he you know I'm sensing he's a male that's what's coming through strongly for me. Heart-shaped face. Have you ever seen someone with a heart-shaped face before? I have. Um, hence why I made this card. And so this is someone to me who has a trusting face. She, you know, he's talked a good game. He, he looked moneyed up. He, you know, he said what he needed to say to, to put her mind at ease. Now, some could say, well, maybe it's not him, the one, the gentleman who picked her up or took her, you know, from the establishment to her home. Maybe it was someone she encountered who could be a lawyer, right? Could be that. Um, it could be someone who is not, you know, not African American. It could be someone who's Caucasian. It could, you know, but I'm not getting a sense that it's multiple people. I'm, I'm not really picking up on that. Um, it says crooked teeth. So this person, there's something about their teeth, about their smile, a crooked smile, crooked teeth, um, little, you know, turn of the teeth. You know, some people's teeth are kind of turned towards each other. It could be something of that. 
So we're, we're dealing with someone who is a very good talker with this lawyer card or, has, or is connected, feels protected, um, brown eyes, perhaps African-American, um, signs. I, I don't know why I keep picking up on billboards or signs or, you know, people have seen this person before. They have seen signs of, of his abrasive nature or his charming nature, and then he flips on you. He's, he's got that traitor energy. People have, he's been around. He's been around. Heart-shaped face. Could be also maybe a, a female that's involved as well. Another female that she encountered dealing with him um, who has a heart-shaped face and crooked teeth. Something about this gentleman's teeth. Okay. Something about this person's teeth. We'll say this person's teeth. But could be a female. A female um, which also helped her to feel safe. You know, helped her to feel like, okay, like maybe he showed her a picture or someone in the phone, like, oh, you know, this is, um, you know, someone I've been working with and she's doing this or she's doing that and I can help you. Promises, promises with this lawyer card. Promises, promises. Okay, so now we're going to ask Spirit, where, where is Felicia? Oh my goodness, we got late. I tell you with these water cards. Where is she or where you know, where is she or where are some major clues? Dark hair dark hair color. Con man at, fi at fire evidence evidence fire burnt up. Where could she be? Where could she be? I know that I, with the Mildred Payne Secret Pocket Oracle, I picked up on somewhere of isolation. I was hoping to get some more information on locations of clues of where she might be at. I was hoping. Let's see if this deck produces anything. Grounding. I feel like she's outside somewhere. It's like with sand. Like when you see this grounding lake. Evidence could be submerged in a nearby lake to where the club is, but it's somewhere isolated. She was taken away and like maybe even she might have started to feel alarmed even. Um, we have Valley. She may have started to feel alarmed that he was taking her to this isolated location that's not too, too far from where the club is. I don't, I, this is Houston. So this is a major city from what I gather, right? So it would be somewhere outside of the city limits. Lake could just simply mean a body of, a large body of water. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that she could be submerged in a lake water, right? It could mean that there's evidence that has been taken clothes, um, pieces of um, evidence that could have been discarded by water. It could mean that she's near a body of water that's not too far away. Uh, we've got the valley card um, somewhere, you know, low in a valley. Could she be low in a valley? Outside with this grounding card, outside on the ground. So somewhere in a natural area that's not too far. And whatever happened to her happened over the course, you know, of a short period of time, I'm sensing. Like, they made this... Uh, like the traitor, the the turning on her happened almost immediately. As soon as she got into the vehicle, it was like, okay, we're, we're moving. We're going. We're going to a valley. We're going to a lake that's near a, a in a valley area, a deep um, drop. Maybe that's where she could be located in this deep drop outside in the sandy, grainy kind of dirt or sand. 
Um, that's what I'm picking up on here. Clues could be there. Con man, it's just I'm sensing still speaking to who this person is, just more clues. Um, we'll have them going on a wild goose chase with evidence, having her phone be one place, but really she's on the opposite side somewhere, but not too, too far, not too far outside of you know, the proper city county line or whatever, you know what I mean? Like in an, in an unincorporated area, I'm sensing here, um, that this person has done this before is routine with this, with this con man card. They, they, they're going to plant things diff, you know, in different spots. That's what I'm picking up on here. Evidence burned evidence destroying of evidence they've done this before they're used to it this person has dark hair um the person who is ultimately responsible for where she is located where she's at this person is responsible there's a person when i see the when i see hair colors come up in a reading this is affirming to me the hair is attached to a human being so this is not her going off and in hurting herself or harming herself or be, you know taking consuming something that causes her to pass away no this is someone who is responsible and trying to throw off everyone that's what i'm picking up on here Anything else, Spirit, that you wish to share? Uh-oh. Hmm. So there is a witness. There could be witnesses. And I picked up on that with the signs card. Signs. I don't know what made me think of that. But... I'm thinking that people know of this person, know that he has a propensity to be a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. High kind of guy who turns on the dime, who may have even had a past of harming women and they know, but they don't want to say anything for fear of retaliation or fear don't want to get involved or they don't know. They, you know, this is someone who might be lucrative business for them with this money card and they don't want to rock the boat. It says witnesses may fear coming forward with valuable information. This could be this woman. There could be an actual person that knows, that finds out, that is aware after the fact of what this person has, has done, knows that this person is capable, the serial killer card. And what's concerning to me also about the serial killer card, you all, is that in the article that I'm going to share, there is this... Um, there's this phenomenon. Remember I said that there's strange phenomenon involved where there was um, other women similar ages as Felicia, similar type of work history or desire to do work in that industry. Um, there's this element of perhaps there could be a serial killer on the loose, someone who's been doing this and just been getting away with it is what I'm picking up on. So that leads me now to what's next in the investigation. Okay, so now we're going to ask what's next in the investigation. I'm going to pull a tarot card as well. Hired help, paperwork. FBI. Oh my gosh, I was literally about to say, oh, hired help could be that the um, Houston PD has hired, or not hired, but enlisted the help of the FBI. And I just read in this article that the FBI has just gotten involved. Um, I think it's best that they do because there is some strange phenomenon going on in her case, in the cases in Houston surrounding young women around her age, young black women. Um, so it is. it does behoove the authorities to get on this because they have an opportunity to perhaps catch this person. And it will be through forensic science, forensic evidence, as we saw here. Um, the, there could be some witness um, intimidation later on you hear about surrounding this case or people not wanting to come forward in this case or in other cases that are linked to this person, this rat who's responsible. 
um, hired help is paying off someone or maybe someone doing a dirty deed for someone else on behalf of someone else, whether they got paid to do it or whether they're coerced to do it or compelled to do it. Hired help, someone getting involved to help dispose, to help cover up, to help actually orchestrate this whole thing to keep this thing going to keep this operation going because this person um, is narcissistic doesn't feel like he belongs in prison he feels like he should be doing what he needs to be doing to make his life happy this is the kind of individual that i'm talking about paperwork is about looking at other cases and comparing the, comparing the other cases and seeing what patterns are emerging with this paperwork card. Okay, so that's what that's the task at hand for law enforcement is speaking to witnesses and, and trying to appeal to them to appeal to the fact that this father of Felicia, Felicia's father came all the way from California to Houston to search for his daughter. And hopefully people will feel it'll pull at their heartstrings and they will come forward with some information. The forensic um, evidence is going to take a while probably to come back, but it's going to be what helps crack the case and also connect the dots to potentially other cases, other unsolved cases in the area. We can look at any additional information through the tarot. Any additional information, Spirit, you wish to share about Felicia's disappearance or about what's coming up next? What is coming up next for Felicia? Oh, we got Justice. Two of Cups. Okay. So... This is, this is good to see. This is about justice being served, the law, you know, coming in and handling someone like they need to handle them. Justice, you know, what you put out into the world is what you receive. If you put out evil and bad deeds, you, you will reap what you sow with the justice card justice is about legal proceedings it's about a you know a judge and the law and the whole process the due process that happens justice is also affirming to me that something happened to her that is requiring of justice to be served okay justice represents the timing if you all are curious about timing with you know, the tarot cards, um, like September 21st to October 20th. This could be symbolic of someone's birthday who's involved in this. This could represent when some major developments happen in the case or in the, the court proceedings or in the investigation itself. So it, that, that's what I mean by date ranges there, okay? But justice is speaking to the fact that you know, and this is a favorable card in the sense if you're thinking, okay, is it justice that she's not going to get justice or if it's justice, she will receive justice. She will, if you're looking at the two of cups sitting next to the justice card. Okay, this is a favorable card. This is also could speak to someone thinking that they could have some sort of kind of intimate relationship with her intimate connection. And that all she turned them down. She was like, no, thank you. And, and all hell broke loose. And so justice for her will come is what I'm picking up here. Um, the cups represents the timing of days and the season of summer. So we could hear in the next matter of days even of more information developing, more information coming up, leading the authorities to what? Justice. Two of Cups um, also could speak to the summertime, early summer, that we start to unravel what was really going on here. Someone who um, is kind of sick because they are, there's going to be records found 
on their devices, their computer, their computer data that they have been following her along, reading articles, you know, searching for what people are saying about this case, saying about her, seeing if people are hot on the trails and trying to cover up, trying to appeal to people to keep it a secret. But justice, my dears, will prevail. Justice will prevail. Um, it, you know, the wills of justice, I have to always warn folks, it's not something that is immediate. But when you see a card like this in such a reading, it does bring about a sense of peace that, you know, there is something that we are going to get some form of answers. It may not be when we want them or what we want, but we will get the answers and in terms of what we feel is just and fair for what someone has done to someone else, we will feel a favorable outcome in the end. Okay, that's what I'm picking up on here. All right, you all, that's, we're going to stop here for now. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching. I am so very much praying for Felicia to come home safe and sound. I'm sending my love to her loved ones, those who care about her. People, please keep your eyes open, your ears to the ground. Share about Felicia. Get the word out. Make this, this rat uncomfortable because he needs to be made uncomfortable. And um, yeah, let's, let's, get, let's get justice for her. Let's get her home. All right. All right, you all. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Spirit, for probably sparing us all the, the details. Sometimes we need to be spared from ourselves, right? <laughs> Take good care, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.